Hello everybody, my name is Alethius and welcome to The Supper, a short adventure game about the darkest side of the human soul. Somebody wailing on that organ. Miss Appleton. Wake up! I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Oh, we're in. Special sauce. Special sauce. Recipes list. Recipes du jour. Pigeon a la sauce rosé. One wild pigeon. Cover with special sauce. Spicy red swordfish. One blue swordfish tail. Add one chili pepper. Cover with special sauce. Hand and tongue stew. One plump human hand. Add one slimy tongue. Cover with special sauce. Got an empty pot. We have swordfish. Fire tongs. Ooh. Oh, stuck the embers. Let's go to the dining room. Candle needs fire. I know. It's dark in here. Some light will help them make... Bwah. Some hot... <laughs> Some light will make the place much more inviting. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Empty water jug. Fill that up with some water. They're from the kitchen. There's not a tap in the kitchen. Outside. Can we go outside? No time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Why don't you go and make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Okay. I do that. Special sauce. Mmm, smells delicious. Did you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. Do you think it could be them? I mean, it might be. I didn't check the soap stove. Oh, wait, I did. Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit, quickly. So, what would the gentleman like to start with? <gasps> oh. Excellent choice. 
pigeon a la sauce rosé is our chef's specialty. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. Mind control and fungus. Oh. Spicy red swordfish. A personal favorite. A mouth-watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of Omega-3. Spooky. So, that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. A pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton. Go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipes list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problem remembering them. Okay. What do we need? Need a wild pigeon, covered with special sauce. Pigeon we get from outside. I'll be right back, boys! I hope you're not thinking on climbing up there. I was. I need to get up there. Give it. Lever. I pull the lever. I can't pull the lever. Jail door. Hello? Anybody in there? Fisherman. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Ooh, a boot. I'll take that. We need to get a knife. I now have some wax. Okay. We can throw the boot at the pigeon. I'll take you. That's the main ingredient for our pigeon supreme, a la sauce rose. Now let's finish the dish. Excuse me, boys. Oh. Okay. I'll put this in the empty pot. Nope. We cooked the pigeon. We... It's a wild pig. We shove it in the sauce. Hey, we did it. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. Who wanted this? Was it you? Yeah, it was you. Be you, old man. Bon appetit, monsieur. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Don't worry, they used to pass and... What? They're used to passing out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. 
I guess you don't need these anymore. I'll be right back. I can probably cut this. That's not the right one. Probably cut this. Nope, I can chop this. Nope. Oh, the swordfish. I'm back. Snip, snip. Are you kidding me, Miss Appleton? You'll never cut anything with those rusty scissors. <sighs> I tried that before! I tried that before! Going up. Ooh. Captain's cabin trap door. Go captain's cabin first. Hmm. I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Alright, thank you very much. Ah, yes. Indeed. Captain Clint McMurray. My sister's second husband. <laughs> Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. I don't trust the trapdoor, because you can't get out. So I'm not going to go down the trapdoor. It's a trap. But now I can cut the swordfish tail. Excuse me. Thank you very much. What do I need? Chili pepper. Oh, that might be in the trap door. Okay. I'll go down the trap door. Trap door. What did I just see? Oh, there is a ladder. Okay. There's not a trap then. Oh. This seed looks completely parched. We'll need to find it a nice drink. Hey, a puddle. It's gonna take a while. That didn't take a while. Here you go, seedling. That's how nature works. I'll take that. Let's head back to the kitchen. Hello, boys. Excuse me, excuse me. A little bit of this. Nope, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Wait, wait, wait. The special sauce should be added at the end, Miss Appleton. Just follow the recipe. Then, perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now, let's finish the dish. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. The dinner's ready. Here you go. Bon appetit. A satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. Do you get it, Miss Avalon? It's funny. Come on. Laugh. What we do with news. We have the tongue. We have some keys. Hello. Do you need this? Thanks. I... what do I need? Tongue. I have a... Have I got it? I've got everything. Alright. 
It says, add a slimy tongue. Slime. I dip it in the empty pot. I hand the pot. I hand the embers. I... Focus, Miss Appleton. Focus. I'm trying. We put the wax in the empty pot. We put the hand in. We tongue the hand. Oh, perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now, let's finish the dish. Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. Dinner's ready. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Oh, it tastes good, huh? Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great. Now, let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. The chest. Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. The lever. Did it get red out here? Are you good? Ah, the wooden car, of course. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. Okay. Okay. Dum de doom. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Hey, yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of ho. There you are. You didn't see anything. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. Well done, Miss Appleton. You've performed diligently. Oh. Ah. Fast asleep in my humble abode. Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest. And so are you. I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. And you were my dearest friend. When those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that cold nugget from them. 
I want it fair and square. And while I was anguishing, suffocating, inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry. You had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones near the old well, where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dearest friend. And goodbye. Well, that was a good story. Certainly not what I was expecting. Sweet ending. Kind of. But that'll do it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. And uh, if you'd like to play this game for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you again. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta.